The project team recognized two different types of errors that could have developed during this project. The first type of error is a systematic error. Systematic errors are predictable and are constant for the entire duration of the project. Measuring the head of, over the weir height was difficult, as the head continually changed over time. The head difference between the weir elevation and the water elevation is critical for determining the flow rate over the weir. Electronic measuring devices could have been considered, and this may be implemented for future works. This was an example of a systematic error. The physical model used to represent this system was constructed with standard household materials. The model was not directly indicative of a real-world channel. A small amount of water leaked from the model during testing. These losses were considered minor and were representative, representative of the minor hydrological and hydraulic losses that would be encountered in real life. The second type of error that we considered was random error. Random errors are not predictive and lead to fluctuations around the true value. Back pressure within the hose could have produced a changing flow rate, which was not accounted for in the calculation process.